Friday morning. Spent the night in Colorado Springs. We've got about an hour and a half to two hour drive this morning just to get up into the mountains where we want to be. Beautiful day today. Blue sky is going to be about 70, I guess. So I'm anxious to get up there and get started. It's uh, almost 8 o'clock now, so should be up there by 10, 11 o'clock for sure. Get camp set up, do a little scouting today. Find some elk. It is the uh, afternoon before opening day. I'm sitting up on top of a meadow, kind of overlooking the whole thing. Looks like we got some cows and calves out. We'll see if we get a bull coming out later on tonight. slow this morning. Opening day, opening morning. What's it, 5.30? You said? <clears throat> I'm gonna hike 20, 30 minutes to a lookout spot that Travis was at last night where he saw some cows in this meadow. Just gonna kind of set up camp there and just start Looking and listening, and so you can figure out what they're doing, where they're going, if there's a bull with them. Didn't see the bull last night, but it's close to camp. All right, need a gun? I'm ready to go. Like five more days and then 
Why am I doing this? I should be back in Illinois where I belong. Oh. All right, it's Saturday evening. We're going in for the kill. We've seen some cows last night we saw bulls this morning they all ended up down by this water hole so Travis and I are gonna to try to slip in close get to like 150 yards or closer why it's gonna stay back up on a high point and watch and uh, it's like 4 30 5 o'clock gets dark at 7 7 30 so stays that way and doesn't shift on us. But there's a small little meadow on the other side where they came out of. And we can see the trail coming out of the timber from uphill. So if we follow the trail, we should be able to see them. Plenty of time to be ready. Sunday afternoon, we're gonna head out. Day two of the hunt. It's about midday here, maybe one o'clock. We're gonna make a big loop, just kind of cutting through some bedding area. See if we can bump some elk, bump and dump, hopefully. But 
eventually circle back around to where we sat last night in the meadow that we've been seeing elk uh, last couple times. So that's our plan for the day. Rain is coming. So we got pre camp pretty much set up. And uh, I think we'll get one last dry hunt in. Supposed to rain through the night. about a half an hour since we shot um, we heard after I shot I heard him run off and he went behind an evergreen we couldn't see much more than that I heard some kicking I was just afraid that he uh, was trying to get away from us um, so we were just trying to be as quiet as we could turned out he died within probably 40 yards from where we were sitting anyways it looked we got the headlights in uh, peeked around the corner and we see brown down so we're gonna go check him out My first elk. Wow. We sat on this meadow. I was ready to quit and go home. But Travis said, no, let's wait till last light. We heard some crashing through the trees. And uh, out comes a cow and a calf. And this guy, I don't know if he was chasing them or there's something else spooked them, but they all came across this meadow and worked right up to us. And that cow was probably 15 yards from us. <clears throat> and they uh, luckily didn't wind us. They just kind of went right on by. And he came up and got to, I don't know, 30, 40 yards. I'll have to flip him over, but I, was, I think I hit right in there on the other side. So, good deal. taking out the first load in the rain. We'll be coming back in the morning to finish it off. All right, Monday morning, we are about 11 o'clock and we're gonna go get the rest of the elk. We've got the hindquarters and the head, I think another scrap pile. So, it's been raining all morning and drizzly so we've been taking our time, but it's supposed to let up here soon. So we're gonna make the trip down there. Probably take an hour to get there and maybe two hours to get back. This is the third morning in a row we've done this hike. First time in daylight though. 
Every time we come through the woods, it's a little bit different trail. We just haven't figured it out yet. But we're here, we're here in the meadow. It's all downhill from here. Thank you, Lord. Oh, back to camp. Trav, I don't I think we left him way back there. I'm not sure where he's at. We left him in the dust, but he and Wyatt are back. 200 pounds of meat. Giant rack. Got a good hunt.